Hey everybody, uh, here we are for our final project of the year. And what I wanted to do with you guys on this one is a project that's really about the idea of what a role of an artist is in the world. And we're definitely living in interesting times. And it might, th it might seem like art is something trivial uh, that's maybe not as important as more practical things. Um, but in some senses, uh, I believe that art is one of the most uh, still is very vital for us, one of the most important things out there. And so I brought together some artists and some quotes um, just that make me think about uh, art in interesting ways. And uh, my challenge for you is to think about uh, coming up with a vision for the future you would like to see and uh, making some art about it and not creating your own quote, but basically uh, making a statement that goes with your work um, about either what you hope for, what you're grateful for, um, sort of what your vision for the future is. Um, so I'll go through these, and I'm not going to read them to you because uh, the words are on the screen, um, but we have quotes by um, some different artists here. So the first one is by Pablo Picasso, one of the most creative people that ever existed. A, a day didn't go by that he didn't seem to make at least one painting or drawing. There's thousands and thousands of Picassos out there. And each one is so imaginative, has its own style and technique. And um, you can tell by the quote that the idea of play and freedom was very important to him. Um, I love the work of Joaquin Soroya. His paintings are amazing. They, there's such a life to them, such amazing light. And you step back and you feel like you're immersed in the scene. They're giant paintings. And you go up close and they're so expressive and abstract. You can just see the individual brushstrokes and colors that create these, uh, these scenes that he made. And so Joaquin Soroya is telling us here that uh, although imagination can be wonderful, uh, he finds his greatest inspiration just in opening his eyes and looking at the world around him. And if you read Andy Wyeth's quote here, uh, he says something very similar. That the, the most, for him, sometimes the most profound thoughts and experiences are the ones that are real, that are in our lives. And for those of you artists that want to do something that's very unique and original, that's sort of something a lot of us artists want to do, it's good to remember that no one has ever been in the body you are in, living the life and seeing the things you're seeing from day to day. So if you're reflecting your world, you're doing something original. And George O'Keefe here tells us how important it is to be an artist that slows down and takes the time to really look at things. That's one of the roles of the artist. We, we're, we're all sort of getting to have that experience right now as, as coronavirus and isolation is putting us in this time of sort of moving slower. And so she's uh, telling us what a gift that can be. And um, I'm hoping you guys are finding some time to be outdoors and just really looking close at bugs and flowers and um, just re-remembering how amazing nature is and reassessing our priorities in the world. And Pablo Almeringo, uh, I believe he's from Brazil, it might be Peru. Um, but his amazing paintings, he's, he's almost kind of like a shaman artist. Uh, you can read the quote um, on the side where he tells us um, that he sees plants, you know, on an even deeper level. The idea that as artists or as people, if we really open up and look closer and closer at things, uh, the more mysteries sort of reveal themselves to us. And um, we don't understand everything. You know, there's, there's so much more for us to know. Uh, I love the quote by Salvador Dali, and I think it's very true. And, uh, you know, again, just an artist being imaginative, showing us new ways of seeing the world, kind of breaking us out of our um, the confines of our everyday thinking and seeing new possibilities and opportunities for things and new ways of understanding the world. And um, I want you to read this quote by Chris Jordan. Chris Jordan is an environmentalist artist uh, who does work about statistics and numbers. And so if you look at these images of cars that are up here, I'm going to zoom in on those images. And you can see the left is zooming in closer. And then on the right, it's even closer. This is the same image. 
so that car, that those cars that you saw are a mosaic of 260,000 car keys all collaged together and he does this to help people understand statistics that words uh, you know we can put down a words but we don't really understand what those words mean um, so you can read what those 260,000 car keys represent and it's his way of sort of um, using art to communicate an idea, to make something that people can't necessarily understand, understandable. Um, so to help us uh, wrap our minds around these numbers and to bring awareness of some of these statistics to us. And uh, this is JR. He's a street artist. He has an amazing TED Talk. I highly recommend seeing it where you can get a better understanding of these projects that he does all around the world. Um, this one's in Brazil um, in the favela, which is one of the poorest parts of Brazil. Um, it's a community where life can be really hard and he wanted to bring beauty um, to this community and he wanted this community to be seen. Um, so he took photos of the people who live there and pasted them up. You can tell by the size of the windows, the scale on this. Um, he put their, their smiles and their faces really, really large um, so that from, even from a distance, you can see the humanity that lives um, in these communities up on the hilltops in Brazil. Here's another image. And Vincent van Gogh, again, these artists are reminding us that sometimes the best way to do things is one step at a time. Uh, you know, kind of, I think it was George O'Keefe telling us to slow down. This is sort of Vincent um, doing the same thing, that uh, if we sort of pace ourselves and do one thing at a time, we, that's how we accomplish great things. And so um, just always moving in a, in a positive direction and, and sort of following uh, the idea of what you want to accomplish, um, eventually you'll get there. This is a painting and quote by Alex Gray. And he's reminding us just um, how as artists, um, our greatest artwork isn't the things we put on paper or that we sculpt or, um, you know, paint or make, um, but it's just what happens inside of our minds. Our greatest artwork is our imagination. We, we see the world that we, we create the world by holding a positive vision and looking out and um, creating the lives we want to live and responding to the world in positive ways. Um, so he's, he's reminding us of that. So my challenge for you guys, and I know it's a hard one, it's one that's going to take a lifetime really, um, but we're going to start out with just an art project, is to basically think about the times that we're in, think about what you're grateful for in the world, think about what you hope for, uh, where you want to set your compass and, and where we're headed, and I want you to make an artwork that reflects either your present experience or the, the future that you hope for. And um, I want you to write just one or two sentences, but I want those sentences to be as, as thoughtful as your art. I really want you to think about what you say and say something that, is, that you really mean, that's really important to you.